Share Free Out Systems Architecture Specialist 11 Exam Questions for Your Preparation 1. The Architecture Canvas is a multi-layer framework. Which of the following is not a benefit of this framework? A. It optimizes life cycle independence. B. It identifies possible performance bottlenecks. C. It minimizes the impact of changes. D. It promotes a correct abstraction of reusable services. Answer. B. 2. Themes and layouts are an important element of an application. In which of the following would you define these elements? A. MyApp underscore CS module, in the foundation layer. B. MyApp underscore BL, in the foundation layer. C. MyApp underscore TH module, in the end user layer. D. MyApp underscore MTH, in the foundation layer. Answer. C. 3. Which of the following options describes a benefit of adopting the architecture canvas? A. The canvas provides a systematic approach to architecture design, supported by a validation tool. B. The canvas provides an automatic way to follow and fix architecture principles. C. The canvas provides a way to easily promote the collaboration and understanding of the business users. D. The canvas provides faster architecture design without validation needs. Answer. A. 4. What is the new name for architecture dashboard? A. Architecture validation. B. Architecture Canvas C. Architecture Framework D. AI Mentor Answer. D. 5. When moving elements between modules and out systems, to which elements should we pay extra attention to and act more carefully? A. The elements with no data persistency, like actions, structures, or blocks. Since these elements are not persistent, they can be deleted unintentionally in the process. b. The elements with data persistency, like entities. When moving an entity, only its logical definition is moved. Physically, it is another database table. c. There is no element in particular. All elements moved between modules maintain their integrity. D. Only the configurable elements, like timers, site properties, or roles. These elements are the only ones that have data persistency that differs from development to production. Answer. B. 6. Which of the following is a benefit of having good architecture? A. Poor service abstraction B. Unmanageable dependencies C. Manages complexity D. Slow-moving legacy systems Answer. C. 7. In OutSystems, an application with foundation, core, and end user modules as a underscore blank a end user application b foundation application c core application answer a 8 the architecture canvas as a blank a Framework to support architecture conventions for modules in OutSystems B. Framework to support application architecture design in OutSystems C. Framework to support architecture design process in OutSystems 
Answer. B. 9. Why is it so important to have a multi-layer framework to support architecture design? A. To promote a correct abstraction of reusable services. B. To optimize life cycle independence. C. To minimize impact of changes. D. All the remaining options are correct. Answer. D. 10. In out systems, is it recommended to join unrelated concepts in the same module? A. Yes, because it reduces the number of references, which simplifies deployments. B. No, because it prevents the life cycle independence of concepts and adds unnecessary impacts to consumers. C. Yes, to avoid cyclic references and reduce the footprint of generated code. D. No, because it adds unnecessary complexity to consumers requiring both concepts. Answer. B.